Welcome to Gander Academy. We have been busy motivating kindergarten learners through technology. Gander Academy is a K-6 school located in central Newfoundland. At Gander Academy, we are dedicated to providing an inclusive and nurturing environment which enhances student achievement and encourages an active and healthy lifestyle in a safe and collaborative school community. Gander Academy has a current population of 926 students. Students are offered an opportunity to study in the English or French immersion stream. Gander Academy has a total of 62 full-time and two part-time educational staff, which includes classroom teachers and instructional resource teachers. We also have nine student assistants. Of course, we cannot forget our principal and two vice principals who are exceptional leaders in our school. Gander Academy services the town of Gander and its neighboring community of Benton. It is amazing to think that 10% of the town's population are enrolled in our school. With 16 years experience, Dina Healy has been teaching at Gander Academy for the past five years. This is her second year teaching kindergarten at Gander Academy with two kindergarten classes of 18 children in each with a total of 14 girls and 22 boys. Also with 16 years experience, Leanne Johnson has been teaching at Gander Academy for six years. Leanne has a passion for teaching early learners and most of her teaching experience has been teaching kindergarten. This year, Leanne has two kindergarten classes with 18 children in each with a total of 19 boys and 17 girls. Both teachers felt passionate about using technology in the classroom, but were intimidated in introducing multiple forms of technology to their young learners. Both teachers had included in their professional growth plans that they wanted to use technology with their early learners in meaningful and curriculum connected ways. They were excited about this STEM project because they thought it would motivate them to step outside their comfort zone as teachers. In the end, they hoped they could become better teachers and at the same time, they would inspire their children to investigate, explore, and ultimately learn by using technology. Initially, we wanted to engage children in math experiences through use of technology, more specifically, Mathletics, which is an online math program that matches the Newfoundland kindergarten curriculum outcomes. As our project evolved, we begin to explore other resources such as RAS Kids, ABCYA, various apps, and more. Our research questions came from our collective experiences teaching early learners. We felt that our students' experience with math were very limited. We wanted to provide an enriching environment where children were able to direct their own learning using digital technology in math. From this, our student question evolved. How do we use technology in the classroom to enhance student engagement in mathematics? Considering this, we began to ask ourselves, what is our role in a technology-based kindergarten classroom? What is Mathletics and how do we use it? How does Mathletics support in-class activities? How do we use technology-based instruction to inform our teaching? Originally, our focus was limited to technology and math with a specific focus on the use of Mathletics. As children's technological confidence and enthusiasm for technology grew, we began to introduce other digital resources such as Raz Kids, ABCYA, Tumble Books, Quiver, and more. This in turn eventually saw children exploring apps independently and being guided by self-discovery. During curriculum night in September, Ms. Healy and Ms. Johnson explained to families that they were taking part in action research as part of their professional development. It was explained that children would be invited to take part 
in a year-long exploration of learning through technology. After curriculum night, consent forms were sent home to families, offering them the opportunity for their child to participate in this project. All families returned their forms and the majority gave consent. All children were participants in our research activities since all activities were part of our curriculum delivery. However, data was only collected from those whom consent was obtained. Midway through our project, we were invited to speak at a general staff meeting to promote Teachers in Action and to celebrate our own research to date. We were keen to make ourselves available to any colleague who had questions about pursuing a project of their own. As children became confident in the programs we had introduced, we sent home usernames and passwords, inviting families to explore these programs with their children at home. An information letter was sent home as well, explaining to families the benefits of the programs and how to use them. It wasn't long before families were writing notes in their child's agenda, saying how much their child was enjoying these programs. This positive feedback was exciting news to receive. When we felt parents had enough time to familiarize themselves with the programs, we offered an evening information session where families could come to ask questions or voice concerns. This session acted as both a mini tutorial for families as well as a time for us to discuss the Teachers in Action project once again and to share our classroom experiences and research findings to date. In preparation for our project, we attended a Teacher in Action Institute at Memorial University in August. Over the course of the next nine months, we took part in planning days at the school level, taking approximately one day each month. Each of these days were used to reflect on what had been accomplished to date and how we intended to move forward. This time was also used to create materials and gather resources. We also scheduled one common prep period per eight day cycle to focus on inquiry-based learning research. These periods provided opportunities to discuss our daily teaching practices in context to our research. Mr. Tom Walsh, the TIA program facilitator, joined us for two of our planning sessions. Mr. Walsh also visited our school on another occasion to observe our research in action as well as to engage children in science-based inquiry activities. Initially, we conducted student survey interviews to determine the children's understanding of and attitudes in technology, math, and reading. Post-survey interviews were also conducted to determine growth in the same. In September, we each secured a single 45-minute period dedicated to iPad technology integration in our classroom. In addition, we each secured a 45-minute computer lab slot as well. Knowing that children, like adults, benefit from collaborative learning, we were keen to arrange a Math Buddies period where Grade 2 and 3 children acted as peer mentors for math activities. The implementation of our project was scaffolded in that children had to first become competent in using technology. Using our Apple TV and team boards, we spent a great deal of time demonstrating how to log in and access the ABCYA website. We wanted them to become familiar with a single child-friendly website before introducing additional resources. We used the team board to interact as a whole class with the ABCYA website. The children enjoyed this website very much and quickly became motivated to access it on their own. When we initially brought the children to the computer lab, it took an entire 45 minute period to log in. By the time everyone had logged in, it was time for everyone to log out. With continued practice and exposure, along with the help of our math buddies, it was no time before all children could log in effortlessly. Later, we began to introduce both RAS Kids and Mathletics as whole class learning experiences. During this time, children learned to navigate through each program. 
children became increasingly motivated to learn about each program. It wasn't long before every child had a username and password and began to independently explore these resources, both in the computer lab and on iPad. While it was obvious that children were motivated in both learning environments, it appeared that children gravitated toward iPads as they were more familiar. This was most likely because many children have iPads, tablets, and handheld devices at home. The implementation of Math Buddies proved to be beneficial in supporting our research. Our Math Buddies were young leaders that helped our kindergartners not only learn to use technology, but to interact with it. Math Buddies could often be heard asking questions to kindergartners, challenging them to think critically. This research eventually became the catalyst for children becoming curious to explore other apps and programs. As one child put it, Miss I love searching things up, especially games about Star Wars. Our data collection was predominantly based on observations over a nine month period. The student survey was administered twice. We wanted to know what children knew about math, reading, and technology, and what they enjoyed the most and least about each. We wanted to determine children's pre-existing knowledge of these concepts and how they might grow over time. We found that with increased exposure and exploration of each domain, children broadened their understanding of what math, reading, and technology are. In addition, we learned that the more children engaged with technology, the better equipped they are to articulate their interests and struggles. As part of our research, we also conducted surveys which addressed the following questions. Where do you enjoy using technology the most? How do you feel about technology? How does math make you feel? And what programs do you like best out of RAS Kids, Mathletics, and ABCYA? We were hoping to gauge students' attitudes about math and technology over the course of time. When asked, where do you enjoy using technology the most? We found that at the beginning of the school year, children's technology experiences were predominantly at home. As the school year progressed, with increased exposure to various forms of technology within the school, children identified with technology experiences both at home and at school. When asked, how do you feel about using technology? We concluded that although most have always felt positive about technology, there were more children who enjoyed using technology in the spring. This might be due to the fact that children have an increased sense of self-awareness and are more confident in expressing themselves. Additionally, due to their strength and skill set, they have overcome struggles such as logging in and manipulation of a mouse, etc. When presented with the question of how does math make you feel? We came to the understanding that children have always felt positive about math. However, through observation, we think that the decrease in numbers is attributed to a greater understanding of what math is, as well as development in self-confidence, awareness, and expression. Finally, when asked to determine which programs they liked best out of RAS Kids, Mathletics, and ABCYA, we came to conclude that in the fall, most children expressed interest in ABCYA. A contributing factor would be that mathletics was not introduced until second term. RAS Kids was introduced as a whole class program initially, later progressing to individual accounts. With exposure to all programs over the course of time, coupled with increased confidence, children found it hard to choose which program they liked most. While many enjoy the experience of building avatars in Mathletics and Raz Kids, 
many expressed enjoyment of free choice and multiple learning opportunities in ABCYA. Throughout the course of this research, we spent a great deal of time becoming familiar with the various forms of technology that we intended for children to explore. Time was spent researching the Mathletics and RAS Kids programs to ensure we understood all that the programs could offer the children. We found online tutorials that were shared with parents so they could better support their child's learning at home. We made direct contact with the Mathletics company whenever we had questions about the program. We offered the company feedback such as developing child-friendly usernames and passwords. We met for one period per cycle to learn more about the technology we were interacting with. The RAS Kids and Mathletics programs provided us with a spreadsheet of information for each child which then could be used to determine which outcomes children had achieved and which outcomes needed to be worked on. The Mathletics program allowed us to create individualized programs for each child. The RAS Kids program was tiered and self-directed. As children successfully completed one level, they advanced to the next. Both programs provided children with immediate feedback as well as tutorials when errors were made. Feedback was read to the children, which was an important factor considering the reading ability at this age. but it's not letting me. The RAS Kids program allowed children to read and record at home or at school, which in turn enabled us to do miscue analysis at a later time. This informed our teaching a great deal. Other programs we used, such as Little Writer and ABCYA, were great assessment tools as we were able to observe or print children's writing samples. Children worked alongside one another and we witnessed a great deal of cooperative learning. With increased exposure to technology, children became empowered in both math and language. They became confident and competent in both domains and learned to take greater risks in the classroom. We used our Apple TV as a means of self-assessment. When practicing for our year-end celebration, we recorded children performing and later viewed the performance on our team board. The children were able to self-assess their movements, actions, engagement, and so on. We began this project with limited experience and understanding of teacher inquiry. Over the past nine months, we have witnessed the benefits of teacher inquiry. Our children are more self-directed in their learning and have more developed critical thinking skills. This project gave our students better opportunities to learn from each other and our classrooms became very engaging for all students, particularly those who do not learn well in the traditional classroom setting. As a result of this inquiry project, our children are well on their way to becoming lifelong learners. I like um, maybe CYA. I was able to play math games in any game I like. And Mr. Robinson. I also like Raz Kids because I get to make my own rocket ship and my own and my own robot. And Mr. Robinson. I also like uh, mathematics because I like to do math. Because of the STEM Teachers in Action project, 
we became empowered to be active learners ourselves and to learn more about technology and how to use it to enhance the learning experiences of children in our classrooms. We became risk takers within our own classroom practices, continually exploring technology and digital resources. As a result of this project, we feel enthusiastic to continue to incorporate technology in our daily classroom practices. Thank you.